This Edwardian Baptist chapel was bought by locals Colin and Emma Clues in 2014, after they'd spotted it for sale on a property website for £232,000. Before work began, this was a damp and cavernous shell of a church, rotting away. Now it's a triple height living space with a soaring first floor mezzanine. And then you've got a nice little office study off yeah. to there. Yeah. I like that, you can just close that off. You still got the light coming through the clear glass. Yeah. And then the baptistry. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. That is fantastic. The old anterooms on the ground floor have become four beautiful bedrooms. And stairs up the side of the mezzanine lead to the balcony master bedroom suite. And I'm pleased they took my advice to extend the mezzanine to the south facing windows, giving the room lots of light and stunning views. This, I can honestly say, is my favourite bit. It really is. You've done so many other beautiful things through the whole restoration. But there's just something about you making the decision to craft something new. You've put in a new floor level here. This didn't exist before. And to have this lovely balcony edge and be looking through that arched window to the beautiful landscape beyond is just, it's staggering. What I love is the character and quality of this restoration. And Colin and Emma have managed it all for just £120,000. A lot of that is down to Colin's relentless work ethic. Colin and Emma went just £20,000 over budget, mostly down to extras like the windows. But I think they've achieved nothing short of a miracle. Andrew Jones and Michelle Gibbons have been battling for nearly three years to convert this Art Deco water tower into a family home. This restoration was hugely ambitious, but has now been beautifully transformed rising majestically from the ground. That is quite something. It's like literally someone's just taken a kind of restoration magic wand <laughs> and, just, and sprinkled restoration dust. I wish we had that wand. <laughs> Can we go inside and have a look then? Absolutely. Come on. <laughs> Three years ago, the inside of the tower was a dark, damp concrete tube. Now the ground floor has been transformed into a family kitchen, flooded with light. Love the layout of the kitchen. You've integrated it so well by just respecting the angle of the building. It's parallel with that face of the octagon. Yeah. Makes it feel that little bit art deco. Just add another layer of dialogue between the new stuff that you've put in Absolutely. and the existing building. Rising up the tower, there are three more floors of bedrooms and bathrooms, where Michelle's daughter Mia has a floor to herself. Master bedroom. Master bedroom. Master bedroom. Four yes. five. But Andrew and Michelle's bedroom takes prime position just below the tank. Crack is huge. <laughs> <laughs> and having a shower with a view is just pretty awesome. That is amazing. You have probably created the most incredible shower, bathroom, master bedroom on street that I've ever seen. The top of the tower was one of the most intriguing spaces for a home conversion. A giant concrete drum of a water tank. Now, eight four metre high windows help create the most incredible lounge. When I first walked through this door 18 months ago, the pumping station was little more than a brick shed. Now Stephen and Marina have a home with the biggest industrial hearts. It just comes into the space enough to have that kind of social feel like you want yeah. to Kids running around, family, friends around. To the openness, yeah. yeah. And you've got your little snug yeah. off to the right hand side. Yeah. And you know what, when you've got open plan living, that's mega important. Yeah. You just want a little haven Closure. where you can just go off, close the doors, yeah. read a book, watch a bit of TV. And this dining space, the extension that you've put on the back, is just 
Judith. Every room in Stephen and Marina's new home is given a chance to celebrate the pumping station's original features. And then bedroom. Oh, what a cute room. Cute room. It's Lucky. like a crane inside. No, but it's cute. <laughs> as in, like, it's, it's just a little bit smaller, isn't it? This is where you merge, you know, like... That's... Do you know what? I completely missed that. I was so busy looking at the steel over there, I missed so it. We need to put this under his bed. Like, That's we... genius! The existing roof truss to the top floor was a major problem. Thankfully, Stephen and Marina went with my structural solution to re-engineer the truss and create an uninterrupted floor to the new bedroom. It looks like a dream, no? Absolute dream. Yeah. It's so lovely that it's all exposed on this side as well. Yeah. In Harrogate, it's taken Mark and Laura just six months to complete the restoration of their Methodist Sunday School. Remodelling this huge space was always going to be a challenge, but Mark plunged in with the confidence and enthusiasm that's made this an exciting build. This is beautiful, mate. Really lovely. Very smart indeed. Go go inside, have a look. As you can see, George, it's looking a little bit different. Just a little bit. Once a single space measuring three and a half thousand square feet, Mark and Laura have transformed it into a two-storey modern home. Oh, what a kitchen. What's so striking about this bright and airy layout is how natural it all feels. And you can actually stand here by the kitchen sink, turn back and look all the way through the entire building. I'd like to say we planned it that way. <laughs> Mark and Laura spent £240,000 on the conversion creating a functional yet elegant living space with a mezzanine level to house the generous sized bedrooms. I'm so impressed with what Mark and Laura have achieved here. This water tower has been transformed from a municipal building into a four bedroom family home in the most beautiful setting. The new two storey extension is wrapped in metal cladding to reflect the industrial aesthetic of the tank while the new windows literally reflect the surroundings. I'll tell you what, the rest of the space is just to die for, really. Wonderful, that, to put a wood-burning stove. Yes, we, yeah, he managed to get that in that corner. That'll turn out the heat. Your lift! <laughs> How posh is that? When it comes to respecting the past, lies beneath your feet in the kitchen. That is a master stroke. <laughs> that is staggeringly brilliant. It's beautiful. <laughs> it literally is the restoration project that just keeps on giving. Unbelievable. It's so lovely to be up here, isn't it? You get a lot of light up here, don't you? Yeah. The views from the tank are incredible. On a clear day, you can see York Minster. Many would have been put off by the scale of this project, but I'm thrilled that Carolyn Majid never gave up. Mm -hmm.